Hey guys, this is Chris uh, with GRT Studio. I'm going to walk you through setting up your firewall for iSyncer to connect. First thing we want to do is open up our control panel and we're going to go to systems and security and select Windows Firewall and allow an app through Windows Firewall. I'm going to scroll down and select iSyncer here and check it in both boxes, private and public. And then what we're going to do is back out and going to add a so or I'm sorry a special rule so that uh, iSyncer can connect easily. So go into advanced security, go to add new rule, look at your specific port 3400, and click through. And if you want, you can add a name in here. This is optional, you don't have to do this. So once we've finished adding the description and the name, we can finish and now iSyncer should be able to connect uh, using Windows 10. Uh, we can see that iSyncer is running in our system tray here. So the steps are really about the same. The only thing that's different is we're going to go into settings instead of the control panel and then select network and internet, Windows firewall, and now things are starting to look very similar to the old Windows 7 look. Uh, allow an app through the firewall and scroll down, select iSyncer again. And as you can see, I've got several instances. You should probably only have one. Um, that's just because I've installed iSyncer a bunch on this computer. So that's it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to email us at iSyncer at jrtstudio.com.